Yes, very pretty indeed. Very pretty. Hi, it's me. <laughs> Hi, welcome to day number. Is it day number 11? I think it might be 11. Oh, I, I, I missed the, oh, the caption is all wrong. Now it's gonna be all wrong on, on <sighs> There's so many single strap steps that you have to do in order to start the stream. Oh! And you miss some of them. It's all going to ruins. Ugh. Hi, Squid Lights. How are you doing? How are you doing? So before we begin, I want to do big, uh, give a big shout out to one of my supporters on Coffee. You can support my stream and my work. Down there on Coffee, there's a... There is a link here. Ooh, there's a link here. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too, Squidlight. Thank you so much. So, um, a big shout out to Missya. Missya sent me a beautiful letter here. And he sent me a board game he made. Look at this. Look at this. Chaos Arena. With a, uh, it looks like some kind of book. A cane book with a mouth. And there's an island in there, oh, and there's a tongue coming out, so good. And on the back you see it even, even more, the beautiful... There is some not family-friendly content. There, there, is a, there, is a, there is a woman, and her chest is bare. I love it, it's so good. <laughs> I can't wait to play it. A, a little baggie, a little baggie with some dice inside. Yes, yes, yes. And then a whole bunch of cards, and and there's also another bunch of cards. Oh, look at this this thick packet of cards, and there's also a board inside. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. It seems like a seems like a indie board game kind of thing. <laughs> and I have to say, like this is something that really excites me, because today everything is a bit too polished. I feel like everything is a bit too, you know. This, the edges are being sanded off, so I'm really cherished whenever somebody may create something that we can enjoy that is not quite as polished and, and like it's more of a individual artwork, right? The artwork made by an individual, and definitely, that's definitely the case here. Um, it has some interesting content warnings here. It's uh, ages 10 plus, it includes drugs, it includes boobies, which I assume is the bird. Uh, it includes swearing, it includes violence, it includes eldritch, and it includes chaos. <laughs> I'm down with that. I have a friend, it's a two-player game, so I have a friend. He likes to play um, like two-player games with me, so we're definitely gonna try that one out. That's gonna be really cool. Look, when I say polished, I don't mean that because this is a beautiful game, don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful, this is also in some, some extent a polished game. The artwork is beautiful, there's a board inside that's really printed on high quality papers. It's not that, like, production polish is something I don't like. I, I'm talking about content. Talking about content. Although I have to say, my game that I'm working on here is not necessarily you know, revolutionary material. But cozy stuff is, is a thing too. Yeah, streamlined, yeah. I don't know. Although I have to say, like, this is something that's really weird, right? Like, um, I've, been, I've been talking about Endor, which is Star Wars, which is made by, you know, the biggest franchise on the planet and made by the biggest company, media company on the, on the planet. And yet, it has pretty radical stuff in it. So how did that come about? You know, what what happened there? By the way, I just looking at the I'm just looking at the font here, and just nobody told me you are horrible people. Why didn't you tell me that M the M is all misshapen? Look at how asymmetrical it is. Ugh. Horrible people. You are my stream chat. What kind of stream chat are you that you don't be like, hey, Christian, fix that. Fix your horrible font. <laughs> Ooh, that, that doesn't seem right. How about this? 
Yeah, maybe. It's a bit too thick. Yeah, that's better. Yes, so welcome to day number 10. Today we'll be working on uh, the menu stuff. I want to make the menu basic navigable, navigatable, navigatable, navigatable. Today we're gonna have some more time because I don't have to pick up my daughter from kindergarten. Yesterday I skipped the evening stream uh, because I was just like, I, I, I think I it, it, just too much things happened in, on the weekend. I had to, I needed an evening where I don't have anything to do. Um, and that was very good. And now I'm I'm recovered. I also had a very chill chill out kind of morning. So we can begin. We can work on this. Just want to make sure that the volume of the music is okay. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Is that okay, guys? Is that is that is that is that an okay? You don't owe us anything. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I mean, no. But I just like want to explain why. Because I, I do like something that I think is very important uh, is to um, communicate clearly, right? So there is no uncertainty. Also, I do owe you Squidlight because you support me on coffee. You're basically my boss. <laughs> So to speak. <laughs> okay, just clicking through the tabs, just like being like, okay, I got it. Bring back hair shading. That's something I maybe I want to start with. I think that might be worth starting out with. Yeah. Because I don't like how we did, did not bring, uh, did not do the girl stuff. I love how we have a tab called girl stuff. So here's Charum, and somehow we didn't do any Charum anymore. Oh yeah, no, no, um, we had like a minus thing happening here, right? That was the idea. Like if you do a minus two here. No, nothing. We have to go do a plus two, maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we only do it on the fills. Oh man, that's that seems complicated. Can we? Okay, so here is V draw and here is VF draw. VF draw. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the thing I call it out. Yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. See? This looks awesome now, but the, the truth, the truth is that it's wrong, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Because look. See? Oh. <laughs> but no problem, no problem. No problem. Uh, uh, girl stuff. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is. We're just gonna duplicate this. Oh man, I'm gonna put a huge star on this because we definitely can save a lot of tokens if we do some some smart things here. So this is my my idea. Ah.
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just doing like, oh, there's a lot of ifs. There's, this is just so inefficient. Oh my gosh. I can't even. Well, I guess, I guess something we can do here is like, um, the seven or do like a ternary here and yeah. Ooh, I love it. I love it. But not quite what we're looking for. That's what I wanted. Cost us some tokens, but whatever. Where are we else gonna go and spend the tokens? Also, this looks really good. I like the shading on that hair. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, look at this. I want to play that game. How can I play that game? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's how I can play that game. That's how it works. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, let's 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 play this game for real. Let, let's figure out. Can we do something smart here? Yes. Then this frees up this guy. Oh, cook. look, 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 we can go here. And go here maybe, now it? Uh, although maybe it would have been wiser to put something else in there. Uh, we need a, this guy, for example, that would be good. Or actually, even better would be the blue one, the one above it, but that would be even better to get to that one. But we can't, alas, we can't. Um, also, getting to this one would be good. But alas, this is not possible. Oh, we might be stuck. See, I think this moving this this thing down was premature. I should have moved this down, and this would free up this guy, and then we could we would have continued this. Or wait a minute, this guy is actually something that we want to get out. So yeah, but that doesn't help. That doesn't help. We can get this one out, maybe. But still, this one is attached. This one sc screwed us over. Oh wait, it didn't. Ha <laughs> ha! Check this out. I'm in the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to put another green one because we are already have so many greens, and this this could could cause trouble. Uh, uh, we want to get this. I could attach this here and attach this here. And if we want this or this, this would be good. Bloop. Uh, then putting the blue one in would be good. So this would be good. Alas, this can be here, this can be here, uh, this can be here and here, and bloop. One thing, um, one usability thing for the scrolling is not immediately apparent. Should the vertical strips rotate clockwise or counterclockwise when in the bottom? Yeah, yeah, that's something I'm, 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 I'm still struggling with. We might bite the bullet and do like a um, rotation uh, rotation library so that the shapes rotate very quickly. There's like spin in, in there. Yeah, maybe. Uh, no, I uh, the way I want to solve this is by making the edges um, unique so it's really clear. But because right now the flat edge can be this way or that way. But for for example, for this edge, for the for the square bump, it's really clear. Like it's it, they belong together only one way. So so you immediately know which one they, it rotates, right? Um, and so I want to make all of the connections that way, or this one as well, right? This is clear that it only connects one way, so you know how it rotates. Um, but the other one is symmetrical, so you don't know how, it, how which way they belong together. So basically, I want to make all of the um, connections um, uh, asymmetrical. And then, then we're gonna get, 
we're going to achieve the same result. But yeah, that's something. Let's put that on a list. I haven't put that on the list. Um, okay, so we brought back the hair shading, that's good. Um, let's bring this up, so we're gonna work on a level select skeleton, um, um, but interaction. I'm talking about buttons. Don't, don't misunderstand me. Okay, here here is something that awkward that happened yesterday. We're speaking of butts. So I, I took my took my daughter from kindergarten and she was like she fell asleep in the, in the bike. So I, I was like cute. Okay, so I put her on the couch, you know, and I'm just hanging out, relaxing a little bit. And I was like, okay, let's go. I have to go. Uh, I have to go number two, right? <laughs> so I'm going number two. <laughs> and then she wakes up during me being on number two. <laughs> And let me tell you, oh boy, was that a catastrophe. You have a crying three-year-old running into the bathroom. <laughs> You're sitting there, it's like you have to explain, no, I cannot get up right now. I would love to, but I can't. And she's like, wah! <laughs> and I was like, no, you have to go out and close the door and then I can. <laughs> it's like, no! <laughs> Man. That's one of those things that you just don't see coming, or at least I, I guess I saw it coming, but I did not know, I did not uh, appreciate how awkward of a position this would be in. That's one of the things that you learn as a as a as a parent the hard way. You have to really schedule your your entire day around taking care of the child, and you slip up once, and you find yourself in awkward positions like this. Um, but interaction. Didn't I, I feel, it feels like I already did this. Okay, keyboard, but interaction. Okay, um, so I feel like this, um, this is something we can maybe do a function for. Um, do mouse buttons. Um, because it's, it's a function that we might do um, uh, in, in different menus as well. Function and do most bits. For b in but uh, all buttons do. And then I'm gonna go if mouse x is greater equals b dot x. So this is basically the collision detection, right? Um, and mouse x is smaller and equals to b dot x plus b dot with minus one and Why, 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 height. Ah, height. So if this happens, uh, we want to maybe go b dot over equals true. And then otherwise b, b dot over up. Oh, Just 
just doing like some basic stuff like this. So like, like I can actually see when I'm hovering over a button and we're gonna click it in a second, but right now I just wanna do it like this. And then when we draw, draw a butt. Again, this could be also draw butts. Might be, might be, might be better, um, but yeah. C equals um, B dot hover and a zero. I uh, know what what is the green color? The green color is eleven or a zero. And nothing happens. Is this even being executed? Wake up, Samurai. Yeah, that's right. Hi, hi, H.E. How are you doing? Okay, this is definitely being executed. Question is if, if this is happening. Why why is the internet not doing good? What is it with the internet? What happened to the internet? Did I miss something? Did something horrible happen on Twitter? That hell site. It feels like I'm doing everything correct. You know, see, my code feels correct, so I uh, uh, understand this as a personal front. Okay, let me let me just like I just want to see if, if if something happens that we actually see the difference. Oh, actually, see, we don't see the differences. Okay, the hover actually doesn't have any any effect. It's in UI. It's already in UI. And maybe also the update. Uh, do mouse buttons should be also in UI then? Mm. Ah, okay. Local C. Uh, silly, silly, silly problem. But C still, still no difference. What's the matter? Okay, give me give me eleven. Just give me eleven. Okay, I know that how how it's supposed to see eleven and b yeah b dot hover and eleven or zero. But here we are. This button. Oh, did I call it butts? I call it butts, didn't I? I think I call it butts, not buttons. Yeah, I call it butts. See, my obsession with butts has uh, came back to haunt me. Came back to haunt me. I, I, I underestimated my my obsession with butts. Yeah, <laughs> see, ah uh, yeah. Ah. 
So it's good. Yes, yes, yes. This is very, very good. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go if, but, but L. not equals uh, last but L and but but L then so th this is where we clicked um, down Uh, and then do but so we kind of like do what the button is supposed to do and then return no no actually no let, let's let's continue doing all of those um now this is going to be function do do i have do but but because it's kind of like, a, like a very very okay and um, do but B. Oh man, desire to play Final Fantasy VIII increases. I have been cl clicked, M my lord. Lauder, <laughs> lord, lauder, lord. lord. Ah, oh, yes, I have been clicked, my lord, my lord. And then we can, I guess we can just use the text on the button to kind of like trigger different effects, I think. Let's try that. So we're gonna go if um, b.txt equals Start. I really have struggling. Like, how do you am English people? How do you make the quotation marks on the keyboard? Why is this button so stupid? I hate this. You press once, nothing happens. And you have to press space, and then it's like single thing. And if it's like shift, press, and then like, what is this? What a garbage button. What a garbage button. Garbage button. Shift two, yeah, and in America, in, in German keyboard as well. It's like shift and the one or two. I think it's two, yeah. Else if b dot txt equals tutorial. Um, at the bug on no but my board was locked into that same thing in VS Codium for a while. I really can't remember how I fix it. Oh really? So it's something that you can change on your keyboard? 
I would love to be able to change that. Um, let's look look it up on Google. Um, need to press the quote key twice. Recently, I purchased uh, blah 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 blah. You are using the US International Keyboard Layout. In my view, that's a very poor way to get foreign characters. I recommend that you go to the Control Panel, Region and Language, Keyboards and Languages tab, and click Change Keyboards. Change to a regular English US keyboard to get foreign characters. But that's not foreign character, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. My Mac Pro has the add on two. It's next to the return key. Yeah, but it's a UK machine. Oh, okay. Squidlight, you are you sure you have a UK machine? Are you sure you have a UK? Yeah, because it tells me to change to a UK layout. Huh, weird. I don't know, I'm, the problem is like I'm using a Chinese machine and it took a while to make it so that it has an English US keyboard layout, so I'm kind of like not really that happy. I thought I thought Ireland usually use UK layout, huh? Asian APM, hey ya! Uh. I think uh, it's important to leave in uh, debug information that you could also potentially just leave it. <laughs> the game calling it noob when you create some tutorial. <laughs> just a completely toxic, like, oh, I'm gonna play this relaxing shape of mind game. The present tutorial, noob. <laughs> get right, get good. That's the tutorial. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, the funny like this sounds funny, but <laughs> how many times I have to tell my students like no, don't don't insult the player, <laughs> don't say something like oh you suck when, when the player goes game over. Why would you do that? <laughs> it seems logical, but you would be surprised. Oh. Okay, um, so next challenge is I want to actually... Mm, yeah, you only scored, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. I mean, I understand. I, I've been that there myself, don't worry. I, I'm here right now. <laughs> it, 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 it feels like edgy and you, you also feel like you're motivating people, you know, it's like, ah. Oh. I'm gonna say like he only scored that many uh, to motivate them to be like, to get them fired up, and I think that's um, yeah. I don't know. It's it's really interesting how our perception of how other people will uh, play your game changes. Like like we or let's let's put it this way. We don't 
we usually don't have a good um, instincts in to tap into the mindset of players that will approach our game. We, you think what we think about the game is what the players will think about the game. And we love the game. It's our game. It's our baby, right? <laughs> so you think like the players will also love it. <laughs> so I can be like a bit mean to them. <laughs> they will understand what I mean. <laughs> but this is all just a joke. Okay. So when I press start, and that's what I want to go to the next screen. The problem is like the screen will change immediately. And oh yeah, by the way, um, that's also we're gonna put that maybe into juice. Screen transitions. Um, right now. What? Oh, okay. Update start. This is where we go to the next level. But we're gonna remove this from here and we're gonna put it in here. Now the problem is when we click on a button, we don't really see the button being clicked. And I, um, uh, if you don't have a lot, have love for a project, if you're doing by road, should you stop? Or I assume every project goes through non-stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's definitely some like, oh, I have to do this now. Stage. There is the valley of suck. Is that a, is that a meme? Really? Valley of despair. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of memes about this. Bam. Nah, that's not good. No, that's that's cigarettes. <laughs> okay, apparently this value of despair is something that we that applies to a lot of things. Uh, game developer, give development. I do. Yeah, there we go. Starting point, uh, new project. Oh, you don't see that. Can we can we make it bigger? actually go to the person who made it. I, I'm not really happy about the hero's journey being here. That's kind of like... Oh, what? That, that does, what is this? Is this for game development? Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Prime Games? Oh, I like this. I like the, 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 the naming here. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's because it... Okay, okay let, let me save it on the desktop. Uh, the, the desk, no, desktop. So I can embiggen. You have like at the beginning if there's uninformed optimism my game is gonna be great I don't really have any all of the single steps in my mind but it's gonna be fine it's gonna be great I have the best ideas in my head it's gonna be the best and then you enter the stage of informed pessimism where it's like oh there's so much to do oh I don't know if I can do this like oh all of the all of the things that I thought were no problem are actually huge problems and there is even so many things that I haven't even thought about that are enormous problems and it's uh, I have to maybe cut down on the features but then the game's gonna be so much worse than I expected or I do all of those things but it will take ages and then like the payoff is doesn't really justify the <laughs> the 
this uh, effort I put into this, and then it's like the, you know the, that's the lowest point, you know. Valve despair is like, oh, I I just just shoot me now, you know. <laughs> and then and then once you and then you have to decide whether you just quit and repeat the process again. But again, the stuff that you brought in brought you into this valley is 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 a sy systemic problem. You have to like if you're gonna go back and repeat then you have to maybe approach things differently next time. You have to learn from this process to avoid getting stuck in the valley of despair. Or you push through. And if you push through, eventually you'll be like, all right, I got things figured out, you know? I got things figured out, you know? I We're getting there, I can I can push through the finish line. And so, you know, a lot of the things that I have, hey, they're pretty cool. And actually the game is cooler than I thought it would be uh, when I was in the valley of despair. Uh, actually, there is some, hidden upside that I was not paying attention to. Even a simpler game actually has a lot of uh, uh, positive sides. And then success and then you're uh, way up here. Um, the trick, the trick, the one trick, the, <laughs> the trick that nobody <laughs> understands is to make sure that this value of despair is as shallow and as short as possible. That you don't stay too long in here because you cannot stay too long in here. No project survives being, being stuck too long in here. No, no, you cannot stay here. This is, you have to move out of there. And the way to do this is to, for example, keep the project short in general. So it's like pushing through, it's not such a big deal. Also, I have to say, like, huge uninformed optimism at the beginning, like, the higher the uninformed optimism, the lower the fall. <laughs> The slope is also important here. Like if you're kind of like, if if you're if you're more critical of your ideas and more self-aware, then I think uh, if you're if you see the value of despair coming, I think it's also a bit easier to get through. Anyway, known problem. Um. For example, in this project I'm doing right now, I don't really have a value of despair. I mean, I guess yesterday was a bit of a value of despair, but I didn't really have to do anything with the project. I was just like tired. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly, fairly optimistic about this. Okay, so something I don't like here now is that when I click, it immediately jumps to, to the next screen and I wanted to maybe uh, quickly show uh, show something. So uh, what I'm... Oh, catch the 33. So it seems like the language default in Windows is being set to United States International causes it to treat quotation as a foreign character requiring extra step. Changing the Windows language setting to United States without the international should do the trick for the quotation mark thing. That said, I have no idea if your keyboard being Chinese will affect it. Uh, well, the keyboard is not Chinese, but the computer was Chinese. Let me try that. Yeah, I do have English. Wait, I do have English United Kingdom though. And then United States International. Okay, okay. So I guess that's, oh, oh, let's just try that. Let's, so I have to change it from United States International to United States. Okay. Let's, let's try that. Language settings. Oops. Uh, let me see. So this is English. This is this language, Windows Display Language, Preferred Language. Uh, how do I edit this? This is such a bad menu. I've been st stuck here before. Maybe region. And see, country or region? China. That's not right. That's, that's definitely not right. I'm in, in Germany. Germany. Mm, typing maybe here? No. Well, I'm back here. Nope. Let's try this. Mm. Mm. Doesn't seem like this. Maybe down there in the keyboard panel. More keyboard settings. Well, that's, that's where we are, right? This is such a bad menu because it's like typing. Oh, maybe here I can change the keyboard. Nope. Touch keyboard. 
advanced keyboard setting. No, that's, that's not what I want. And then it's like language and region, but that's already like something that, like, I don't, what is, what is that the, the keyboard? And then even if I have English here, I want to edit this, but there's no way to edit this. So, so what's the deal? Okay. Uh, United States. I don't want the language pack. I don't want this. I don't want a hand. I, I want just want a keyboard. That's not what I want. None of this is the stuff I want. Yeah, just translations. I just want a keyboard. It feels like I, I, this is wrong. Ah, there we go. Ah, 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 there we go. United States International at keyboard. Uh, United, just US? Is that is that what we want? Or, or United States Dvorak, United States Dvorak, United Kingdom? So many United things. Okay, let's try that. Did I install it already? Is that, is that already there? Oh yeah. Let's try that. Oh my gosh, it worked! Yeah, victory! <laughs> Thank you so much for the for the help, Catch Twenty uh, Thirty Three. And I'm gonna inst uninstall the international then. Yes, excellent. Oh, that feels so good. Hmm. Well, I like that the, the problem. So, um, so now coming back to this this problem here, I want to when we're drawing buttons. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, here, here. So I'm gonna go if c dot down then. Uh, no, not c b down then c dot. Um, What color do we want to have? Maybe maybe 10? Let's try 10. C equals 10. But the problem is like you don't see this, right? You click and you don't see it. So maybe here in the gameplay update. Oops, no. In the girls, no, no, in the UI. Here when we click, <coughs> we go. US usually work on mouse up, not on mouse down. Yeah. I wonder if we should do that, huh? I was also thinking about this, then you can definitely see it. Let's try that. Oh, that's not good. That, okay, I didn't see a difference there. So what if we do, do DRW? Oh, I did not see the difference there. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Huh. Oh. Oh, interesting. So, so wait, so, so down is true. So we do want to have it DF there. Yeah, see? Oh, what? That was weird. What the heck? W 
Why? Oh, 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 oh. I know why. <laughs> Interesting. Zero. Yeah, that works. Do, 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 do. Because CT equals seven, CT equals, let's make it gray. Let's try, yeah, let's make it, let's make it six. Try to make it so it's yeah. Let's let's we can try to make it so it, it's almost up. Hey, nice little screen. Start to look like a complete Polish game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting there, Jamie Gens. Uh, slowly and and steadily. Um, yeah. So something we can do like if. Something like this, right? Ah, interesting. Okay. If um, bottle, then so we separate it. Um, we trigger it on mouse up, but we already do the down statement when we click. So that that means that it feel, will feel more, a bit more responsive, I think, and it will behave like a bit like said, like on the mouse up. Yeah, it, it's, it is a bit weird. It is a bit weird behavior that we got used to. That mouse up triggers. Also important here to be go B down equals false. Yeah. Oh yeah, that felt that felt good. Especially since um, you then see the 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 up. This allows me to also like hover. Uh, see, but I don't like I don't like the coloring. Let's let's fix the coloring of the buttons. Also, the yellow might be a bit. I don't know. It might be not the right color. Let's try twelve. What about twelve? Like this. Hmm. I don't know. I think something that is. Hotter would be nice. Nine maybe. Nine and I think two was the one, right? Ah, uh, I don't know. It was a bit too dark. About thirteen. What about six and thirteen? I do like how when it gets brighter, that's definitely a good approach. Let's go 14 maybe. Well, I don't know if I like that. Let's go 12. Eh, so maybe that would be good. Mm. 
Dunk is not good. Oh, hold up, 15. Yeah, that's good. 15 is good, and then 9. Feels good. Feels more in line with what, what we have otherwise. Oh, oh. Good. Uh, we also maybe should do a a click sound. We already have a click sound, right? Oh, oh, it's patterns. <laughs> I was like, where did the sound effects go? Feels a bit weird when a when click comes uh, after a click. Okay, we don't need an L statement here. Can, you have like the opportunity to like if you press accidentally you can release it. Um, we don't need to draw. We don't need to start anymore. Oh yeah, by the way, also something I realized. Feels like a dilemma when you go for just the functionality. Hey, Marina Mix, how are you doing? Um, it feels like a dilemma when to go for the functionality and when to go for polish. Yeah, I. It's yeah, it's it's kind of like a gut feeling thing, and that can be all often wrong. It's also probably often wrong with me. Don't 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 do as I do. Not necessarily.
do 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 Okay. Do 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 do. Heard you talking about the Mio Mini other day. Yeah, Marina, did you did your did your Mio Mini arrive? You ordered one, right? Okay, um, I'm loving it. Yeah, did you? Yeah, you have to get the. Did you put the onion OS on it? You have to put onion OS, otherwise it's not the real Mio Mini. I have mine right here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I do not love Pico 8 on it. I, onion OS, yeah. I do not love Pico 8 on it. It's um, it's often broken. Especially the sound is really bad. Oh no, Mio. Uh, so Mio Mini doesn't run Pico 8 natively. It's just emulation, and it's as you expect it to be. It's just not good. It's not a, a Pico 8 focus. You can put some Pico 8 on it, uh, Pico 8 games on it, and it's it's like if you turn down the volume, it it's, it will often run fine. But yeah, like if you want to have a portable for specifically for Pico 8 emulation, then probably a uh, Embernic 351 device would be better, or the Game Force G. The form factor is amazing. Yeah, I I've been hounding the developers in the in the Discord for uh, maybe making P a native Pico 8 work on it, and it's apparently difficult because there's like a library SDL2 that um, Pico 8 is using that is has been not ported for that specific chip. But I heard somebody's working on it, so there's I'm not giving up the hope yet. You betraying the Mio Mini? Hey, no, I'm 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 thoroughly in the Mio Mini gang. It's just like it's really good for emulation. It's, if you want uh, Pico 8, it's, I think it's. It, it does pick eight, but it's not the, the main focus. Yeah, new console looks really cool. Yeah, Game Force G, that's right. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know that. Every time I pick it up, I'm like, oh yeah, that. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mio Mini is kind of nice because you put, can put it like in your jeans pocket and even like in a small jeans pocket and it will fit inside. But the game for she is so comfortable. Every time I pick it up, I like, ooh, ooh. I could play for a while like that. Yeah, yeah, it's really good on the go, especially because it has like, and that's something that Game Force G doesn't have. Like these, at least the firmware I, I was using, it doesn't have. It's like this: you press the button on top. And bam! Whoa! I, I probably shut down the console com completely, but it like you, it boots you directly into the game that you were playing last, and then you press the button again, and then it immediately shuts down, which is a big deal if you if you like wait. That's normal. <laughs> that's how devices should work. But nah, <laughs> that's not how portable devices work. That's not how those emulation handhelds work. Usually, the emulation handhelds will be like. Uh, when you press the button, turn it on, and it takes like a half a minute to boot up. And then you're in a huge menu, and then you have to find your game and so forth. And then when you when you want to turn it off again, then you have to like quit the game in the menu, go to shut down, then it shuts down, and you know, do, 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 do stuff. It's like pressing a button will usually put them into like a, a half-baked sleep mode. Yes, I have an Embernic RH35 new in Embernic. Um, yeah, the 351 MP. And it works really well for most games. Only with stuff like Bunny Survivor, it slows down when there are lots of enemies. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure, like, the Embernic 351 should have enough horsepower to run PK at full tilt. You should try it on PC. I think it will also do a slowdown. I haven't seen games where it would slow down uh, when it doesn't slow down on a, uh, on a PC.
like dude this guy this thing plays playstation right <laughs> playstation games <laughs> it shouldn't it shouldn't be get taxed by would be great it is it is big it is a big boy the embernic yeah, like the form factor is a big deal. That, that's also one, one as big aspect of Mio Media. Like it's it's so tiny, it makes a huge difference. But that's also sometimes a bit negative because it's like, you know. <laughs> uh, the screen is huge. That's also something that I like. Like uh, huge compared to the rest of the device. Like most of the device is the screen actually. <laughs> and that's good because it's a tiny device. So it's it's not it's not too tiny. And it's also a good screen, 640 times 480 and laminated. Pico 8 is slower on a Raspberry Pi 400? Really? Are you sure about that? I would be surprised. Really? 400? Is it like taxing the CPU? Yeah, the MP is, is rather big i mean okay the, i haven't been into the most recent emulation devices um the most recent ones are very um are kind of like all uh steam deck competition basically and so so they're usually big and usually uh android focused and kind of like the size um, more the size of a switch light uh, so obviously that's a completely different territory um, but for the old ones, for the old like Linux-based emulation uh, handhelds, they, the MP was the, one of the bigger ones. Not the biggest ones, not the really jumbo size, but kind of like bigger. The Mio Mini is the smaller size. These are really tiny. Like there's multiple ones of those. Uh, Embernic also has one, um, but it's not as good as the Mini. Uh, that, there's a reason why the Mini is being sold sold out everywhere basically because people people really it's it's really good and the software on this really good onion OS is really really solid that's it, yeah it should like it's surprised before uh, for the um, raspberry 400 should be running it cleanly like if uh, if it's if you feel it's running slow uh, do check um, the CPU load. If it's running at 100 CPU load, then that's probably limited by the CPU. But if the CPU is not 100% text, then this must be some kind of software issue somewhere. Like it's maybe throttled or something. I don't know. It's, or some kind of tr driver issue. But yeah, I was running it on a Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi 3 Lite on the... Um, on the um, dev term and that was pretty old raspberry module and it was like one fourth of the cpu or half of the cpu when it was running full tilt so yeah the raspberry should have no problems running P, uh, pico 8 not this raspberry uh, on the small ambernic yeah see the thing is like people say it's like oh it runs fine it runs fine and then you you listen to the sounds like this sounds nothing like my chance sweet buns what have you ever played my chance sweet buns do you know how it's supposed to sound and also like i think people who say it's fine never actually experience you know what it feels like to play pico 8 on a wi-fi enabled uh, handheld with the native pico 8 experience because that's amazing like being able to go to Splore and from the Splore to launch in any game in a Picoverse, that's amazing. That's a game changer. That's a that's a huge difference. Then, you know, like, oh, I would love to play Celeste. Then, you know, going online, downloading Celeste.p8, then getting the SD card out of your thing, putting the SD card, navigating to the right folder, dragging it over, ejecting it again, putting it in, booting it up again, getting into P8, loading the right file, and then you're playing Celeste. Like, that's... <laughs> yes, it's like you will do it. You will maybe create a bunch of games, and then that's all you're gonna do. But you're not never gonna be, gonna be like plop down on your couch, boot up Pico 8, and then see what new releases are out. That's that's kind of like a completely different experience, uh, and and that's that makes a huge difference. That's why people are. I, I think it's very very important to if you want to have a Pico 8 um, 
focused mobile device that you make make sure that it runs Pico 8 natively and that it has Wi-Fi. That, these are two are very, very important aspects. <laughs> yeah, I, don't get me wrong. If you're into the hardware aspect of it, it's fine. <laughs> I do like um, being able to insert a... Um, uh, uh, being able to install the uh, Pico 8 on like SD cards, that's kind of fun, like on bespoke SD cards. Yeah, yeah, bespoke Pico 8 consoles, I, I, that's a different thing. Like if you can just plug and play a Pico 8 game, that's cool. Um, but yeah, no, they're just like the file shenanigans, because you, that's the thing, like that's, that's something I was busy with, right? When you have an emulation handheld, this is something that you happen when you have an emulation handheld. You have to create and maintain a, a ROM library, right? Like, so you have to spend a bit of a time to set it up and, and to have the newest firmware going, and then you spend weeks sorting ROMs, so everything is perfect, you know, everything is great. So everything is like, oh, I have the right ROMs that I want to be playing. Oh, there is this rare Japanese ROM. I will download a translation for it and I will put it in there like, oh, which, file, which files do I need and don't need? And then it's like, after weeks, this is going to turning into a hobby, right? And after weeks, everything is set up. You have all of the games that you ever wanted to play. And then you paralyze. You don't know what to play. <laughs> You're just like, that was such a long, lot of work. I'm just gonna put it away and it will start collecting dust because I just cannot decide which game to play. There's so many. <laughs> so, so yeah, and that, that's something that me and me Mini is a little better about because it's um, always launches you into the last game you played. So it feels more like you know the Game Boy experience where you had just you had that one game and that was like inside your Game Boy, and every time you turn it on, it boots into that one game. That helps you uh, getting rid of the analysis paralysis of having all of the games <laughs> on your little device and not being able to decide which one you want to play. Uh, yeah. My boss loves collecting ROMs for, for all different platforms. He likes maintaining the library. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Maintaining a library is a completely different hobby from playing the games. <laughs> And you don't need the, the emulation device, you don't need the Mio Mini to, to be collecting ROMs and maintaining the library. There's, there's good software for that. Oh, the Mio is getting an update. Ooh, Pico 8 save saves would be nice. I, I do not disagree. But still. And see, the Mio Mini will never be a really good Pico 8 handheld for one reason. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. It does not have any Wi-Fi whatsoever. So you will never have that Splore experience I was talking about. Oh, look, somebody to, to get banned. Get wrecked. Silence. Anyway, enough talk. Enough, enough emulation talk. I'm, I'm looking forward to what, what will happen with, with Mio. I, I'm definitely... I, the, the reason why I was doing the ROM collection recently is that I actually gifted it one to my friend. He, he wanted to have one when I was in China. I brought it to him back from China, this is like months ago already. And I was like, let me get all of my ROMs on it. <laughs> Months later, can I get my Mio Mini finally? I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so next step. Do do. I want to see the mockup for the level select screen. I have a mock-up for a level select screen. Let me show you. That, that was my mock-up, basically. That was my idea. So I, I think like the screen will just shift sideways. Woo! 
and then we will have like um, like a line and that line is going to be like the history of the levels that you've played and how you completed them and you can go back to previous levels or you can roll a new level and the levels will be randomly generated or maybe taken from a list and you can remove them from the from like a history if you feel like they're unsolvable but yeah it's just going to be like this is going to be kind of like a progress screen and maybe this will allow us maybe to spin it out to to have like challenges Yeah. So, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Is that a good idea? Let's just do it for now. <laughs> I could imagine paths growing from Victor, Victor Girl's brain. Oh, yeah, oh, actually, I wanted to have like um, the paths also on the main screen. I don't. I don't want to be too, too specific about about. I think. I think it's. It's. Um, you. You don't have to be too specific about the the paths coming out of your brain. I think uh, just having them there. It's kind of like she closes her her eyes and the world disappears and behind her you see the world of her dreams. I think that's 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 the imagery I'm going with. I don't have to like have the dreams actually coming out of her mind. Um, yeah. So how are we going to do this? We're gonna have a history. Hey, Snowja! Um, history. Something like this. We're gonna save it. Uh, and we're gonna have a key. Uh, does, 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 is it called key? Random key? Attempts and wins would be also good. I don't know. Let's just go with attempts for now. <clears throat> yeah. And this is going to be the first entry. history in here I will later on I will later on um, load this from from disk So the idea is, that to, is to print this history now on the screen. Um, score value. So um, 
I had this idea that there's different ways of solving a level. Well, maybe maybe that's not something that we will actually do. I uh, have to think about this. Um, we're gonna figure it out as we go. I just wanted to like have this score value saved so we can do something with it later. Um, the idea was that um, if we're gonna have uh, rings that go not just six elements long, but also a 12 or 13, um, six, 12 or 18 elements long. So we, if you have a ring that consists of all of the cards, um, that will be a higher score than just doing individual rings. Um, but I am not sure if I'm gonna, gonna keep that because I'm not sure if it's actually the more difficult, I'm gonna have to t test it a little out a little bit. So like if you solved it once, but you made three individual rings, you can go back and try to make a huge ring in that level. Uh, which I think will be a bit more difficult, but I, again, I'm not sh entirely sure. I have to do the testing. Um, so yeah. And now I'm thinking. I'm thinking about how to do these. We do have a scroll, right? There's a scroll. Mm, let's let's go let's go H scroll. Yeah, I don't know if we can 100% it. That's that's the thing. It's just going to be history. It's not going to be like you have to you have to play all those levels. But you know, just maybe we will have something. I don't know. Um, I'm going to create a go through level. Um, that will be maybe a bit better. This way, we can have a menu item that allows us to go back to the level menu screen, uh, select screen. Let's just draw some stuff, and let's, I just wanna, I just wanna have something on the screen. Draw level. There we go. For i equals one two. Hashtag history plus one. If I is smaller equals history, um, circ fill. I just want to draw the history, right? We want to draw the... Well, how big of a circle did I... Because I had to like the circles, they represent the levels. How big are they supposed to be? 11. Yeah, 11. Um, so just gonna be six, right? So let's go like zero times Zero plus, oh, well, zero, you don't have to. One, no, I <laughs> multiplied by 24, uh, comma, 64, comma, six, comma, uh, 11. 
and that can be our level. Oops. I had this question, will the puzzle pieces be static or float closely around their position? What? You mean like on the board, if they're like like moving around a little bit? I wanted to maybe do some juice around them, um, but I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that. Maybe it might be fun maybe to move them around. Yeah. What is happening? Oh. Uh, not quite the color I was looking for. Not quite my tempo. Oh, wait. Um. Almost deleted everything. Is that how I want, had it initially? No. No, I, 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 maybe it was. Let me, let me zoom it out. No. It was bigger, so it was. Um, it was four here, but that kind of looks really weird. Ooh. See, see that? It's not great. Increase the outer one as well. Not sure if that will be. A... No, no. It's it's just like the um, uh, circle rendering is not quite correct. So I could solve it by rendering myself, like doing a. Uh, let me let me look into it a little bit. I think that might be. I can do it with um, code if I need to. It just doesn't quite. What what happened to the to the music? Uh, I'm still listening. Don't worry. If you pulse the size a tiny bit, I find the brain overlooks weirdness when there is movement. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll, maybe we'll do animation later. For now, I wanted to do. Uh, recreate that feeling that I had in the in uh, 
in uh, in my design. Uh, this is um, two hundred forty. That was the problem. You maybe you were right all wrong all along. No, that looks exactly the way I designed it. So wait, how 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 was it before? That was exact like this before. Did I just waste some time? This is too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's, that's better. That's better. You guys were right all along. I should listen more to you. Yeah, this looks good. This looks correct. We didn't implement the keyboard button interaction. Maybe we should work on that too. Um, I won't have levels on a wavy line. I want to be able to scroll through levels. Uh, level info, level start button, and Bubbles. Bubbles and background waves. Okay, I'm gonna take a small break. I'll be right back. The break is over. I'm back. Sorry, I um, took a while. <laughs> I made some tea. Cheers. And I... Uh, I boiled too much water. <laughs> Our sink is a bit weird. When you turn off the sink, there's still water coming out a little bit for a while. There's like a lag. And sometimes it's it's difficult to see how much water you have. Hey, Synergia. Also drinking some tea. Grooving. Right, so just for as an information, I will be streaming for at least half an hour, um, probably more close to an hour, like basically when my wife and kid come back from uh, from uh, kindergarten, then I will be done for today. But so far, it looks it's looking good. I'm like, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think color three was the right color. <coughs> was it? 
No, no, it's it's correct. Okay, so levels on a wavy line. I think let's just do the keyboard button interaction to, at the end, and we can do it together with the level select screen. So I want to put the levels on a wavy line next. So we are basically gonna draw a sine curve. We're done. It's a very small sign. <laughs> it's very small. You don't understand. It's, it's tiny, but it's, it's there if you look closely. need the line statements you know what I'm saying maybe it's it's enough okay so <clears throat> let's get this thing out It's a bit more, yeah, see, that's more what I wanted. I think we can, we can make it even wider. We don't have to, yeah, yeah, that seems better. And then we're gonna go line. Obviously, is that we? Um, it's interesting how how that's not a consistent thickness, huh? Um, I don't quite like the circle. Oh, yeah. Let's let's keep the circle alone for now. Let's do a rect fill.
like this. I, I want a nice thick line. That's what I want. Oh yeah, see, this is looking good. That's basically what I wanted. And now I want the, the different dots to be positioned on that line, but also maybe I want to tweak this line a little bit because I think So it's a bit more. Do you want to animate it as well, or it will be static? It will be static. I don't want to like be. This, this, um, I don't want to go up and down, um, but you will be able to scroll through it. Uh, and the background I want to want to be, want to be animated. Ooh, I like that. Mm, if we have this, then we can do a thirty-two. Yeah, that, that seems cool. And we're gonna explore this line as we allow it to scroll. Actually, we might, let's, let's do scrolling right now. H scroll? I did have H scroll. H scroll, yeah. H scroll equals uh, minus equals. allow scrolling sideways and then when we're drawing all the stuff mm, here we're gonna do minus H scroll on everything uh, I know I could do this with camera as well but I kind of like the extra control that doing manually does, even though it costs the tokens. And we are almost approaching the halfway point on the tokens. We burn through them pretty quickly, huh? But also, we're... we're I, I'm not really worried right now. I will, might be worried later. Um, Thank you, Agustin. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Also, thank you for your tips for the um, iPad. I was thinking about maybe getting an iPad. iPad Pro. But it's kind of like something in the future. So I'm, I'm wondering, Agustin, are you actually doing all your work on an iPad Pro? Is that where you, your main working device? Or is that just kind of like a, just a doodle device that you have and your main work is somewhere else? Also, Agustin, I hope you 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 excuse. I, I did tweak the shading on their hair. I did like the outline a little bit, so it feels more three dimensional. Send over some sketches. Oh, nice! Thank you so much. 
<laughs> okay, I will. I, I'm taking on the challenge. Uh, yeah, so if you guys know, uh, Agustin is the beautiful artist who made this beautiful artwork. Uh, or at least the card based that I based this game on. Uh, and I asked him if, if you would be... Um, because people asked about um, when you finish the level that maybe she opens her eyes or maybe like she opens my mouth a little bit. So, um, so I asked her because I wasn't sure about the eyes. My initial instinct would be to kind of like go for more of an anime style. But I looked at Augustine's art and he usually has like just dots as eyes, which is like a very unique style. And I kind of like that. So I was like wondering what Augustine would, um, how would Augustine draw her eyes if she opened her eyes? And Augustine was so nice. He apparently sent me some sketches. So I will take a look at them um, later on and I will think about how to translate them into pixel art. So yeah, Augustine, I did change the shading a little bit on the on the hair, as you can see, it's slightly different than yours. And also, Agustin, Agustin, I've been looking at the art, and there is uh, Agustin. How did you do? How? I'm gonna be critical about your art. I love your art. I'm gonna be critical. Is that intentional? Is this intentional? This doesn't look intentional. This looks like a layer mistake. I might be wrong though. Because it's like, is this ball behind her or in front of her? It's like ambiguous, right? It seems like it's behind everything, but it's still in front of the shirt because it covers the shirt. I don't know, man. Also, by the, oh, by the way, Agustin, do you want me to include your logo? It's a very cute logo, this one. Do let me know. I, I, in my original pixel art, I had it in the menu, um, but I, now their menu is here. But I might still put it on a on a start screen or something. I think it's a very cute logo. It looks it looks so cute. <laughs> I must admit, uh, this was pretty rushed to read Famicom's deadline. <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> when when people say like, oh, you know. Family case entries are uh, being accepted. You have to, you have to submit immediately. There is not many slots on family case. <laughs> I definitely understand that. Oh wow, two days for this! Wow, that's cool. That's super cool. Uh, my app is fam it's mainly for Procreate. Just use supplementary. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So the way I, so there's two reasons I want to get an iPad. First of all, I'm I'm about to go to a hospital for a short stay. Um, but I want to maybe have something to entertain myself because you're just gonna be, I'm just gonna be bad all day and, and uh, I thought maybe an iPad would be better than a notebook. I do have a Surface, so that complicates my, the purchase a little bit. And the other reason why, uh, and there's like, I, I do these comics, uh, read comics sometimes and reading comics on iPad is really good. The uh, Marvel app is really good, the uh, iOS app. And there is no such app on the Surface, so I have to launch like an Android emulator. Uh, but it's that app is like the app, Android version of the app is not that great. So I was like, ah, you know, that would be something. Uh, and but the other thing, I was looking at an iPad for a longer time because I kind of like this idea of like you know sitting down on a couch and doodling a little bit, especially for like pixel art stuff. Um, and again, Surface technically can do that as well, but um, I found, first of all, in, on a Surface, I have not found an app where you can use the pen uh, for pixel art. I have um, apps for drawing with a pen for doing like um, digital painting, but for pixel art stuff, like the Sprite doesn't work on with a pen very well. Yeah, there's nothing worse than just lying in a hospital bed without anything, yeah. So, um, so yeah, for pixel art, I, and I heard that people can set up, uh, did set up Procreate to work with pixel art. So I was thinking, like, okay, and the pen for the iPad is really good. And that's the other problem with the Surface. The pen sucks. Like, come on, mm. it, it's, it's okay, like most of the time, but if you really want to like commit and do really good digital art, like the fine control of the pen is really bad you get like jittery lines and you never can get really smooth lines unless there's some smoothing from the software side but then then you don't have the fine control you don't cannot like make a small circle it will just smooth it all out 
and yeah, that's that's bad. Yeah, Asprite is not available on an iPad, and that that's the flip side. Like on a Surface, I can just boot up, you know, Asprite. I can boot up um, um, Pico Eight, and you cannot do that on iPad. Yes, they, they are always smooth on a on a um, or by software a little bit because obviously there's always jitter happening, but on iPad it's a lot more precise and I. It's a, it's a long. There is a, the, a guy making comics on the on the internet. Uh, if you and he always tests like different input devices on a, and the, the good test is always you take a ruler, put it on an actual iPad, and draw a line. And if you do that on especially on our older Surface models, you get like you still get a squiggly line. And on iPad you don't. Well, I also hope it's nothing serious. I'm gonna have some um, some stuff done to my uh, thyroid. I work on all, all my family cases. Oops. Um, basically, from Procreate first, then work on them. Unfortunately, after. Oh, that's cool. So you use the Procreate as a kind of like a prototyping environment, kind of like I do with the. Wait, so I I I, sh I, 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 did I, didn't I switch to full screen? This part is the one that I was worried about. This is the one that I, I was like, this is, this is not finished. I don't know if I switched to the, the right screen. Um, all right. Close the stream. It's over. It's over. That that's not me. That's not my thing. I don't know who who made that illustration. That's not my illustration. Okay, I did. I, I did. I just switched back. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I was just like <laughs> sometimes I just like lose control over what is being shown. Um, okay, so we are making the wavy line. I think it's a bit too far down. I think it should be it should be a bit higher. Um, we might actually we call it wavy, and that allows us to define exactly where the wave is. So now we need to put the individual levels on the actual line. Like 
It's interesting that it's minus scroll here, but plus scroll here. I'm not sure. Uh, let's try that. Okay, well. <laughs> Oh yeah, see, it's it's <laughs> that that it just looks funny. It might be it might be funny to actually animate it while I'm scrolling. So like this is correct. Yeah. What? I'm confused. I am so confused right now. I am so confused. Right, so this gives us the position on the screen. Um, but this... So actually no scroll whatsoever. Uh, I think the spacing 24 is a bit too too frequent. They're a bit too close to each other. Wow, really? Really? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Gotta make sure that... Okay, so 24, that's okay. No, 32. Let's, let me do a spacing variable. better um, maybe even a bit more mm, that's too much 36 yeah that, that feels better I think it's more like a journey right like mirror actually um, traveling <laughs> are on a wavy line. Now we kind of want to like select individual levels. We can scroll, but that's not what we want. Oh, by the way, also we want the line to end. And line at newest level. Um, step through levels. Okay, that's next. So first let's, let's end a line.
So this is gonna be about Yeah, we're drawing the, so we're gonna say if i is smaller than hashtag history um, plus one multiplied by spacing. Nope, that did not work. Wh why? Why you no work? That's ridiculous. I am, I am, I am, I am a bit surprised. I has to be smaller than that. It's a smaller. Truly. 144? Right. Ah. Got it. Yes. You can. <laughs> Thank you. We figured it out. Woo. Good. Um, yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cell left cell level select. I'm gonna set it to one. Um, because yeah, we did the and land at the newest level. We did that. Now we want to step through levels. Oh yeah, by the way, also something I wanted to do is um, 
level colors. Left cell. Uh, yeah, we can put it after this. Time. Okay, good. Um, so now we're gonna go level minus one, level plus one, left. Level, not level, left cell. Is that left cell, right? Left cell. Um, um, uh, one comma left cell comma hashtag history. So basically we want to make sure that we can only select levels that are there and then we're going to go yeah we're going to go we're going to go h scroll hd scroll we also need to do hd scroll and we're going to go hd scroll equals Uh, I times spacing. What do you set the spacing is? Uh, Thirty-six. Sixty-six. And I'm gonna go H scroll equals HD scroll minus H scroll. Divided by ten. Oops. What? That's what I'm thinking. Not what I want. By the way, is my camera focusing? It's not, right? Really. Can I turn off autofocus somehow? Yeah, it's set to autofocus auto -focus continuous, but it somehow stopped focusing for a while. What is the matter? Ah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> yes. It just doesn't work perfectly, yeah, because we want to we want to go BTMP. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Uh, I think we need to do like a minus sixty-four because we wanted uh, wanted to be centered. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, this is this is good. Wide streamer. Oh, um, wrong cap. Okay, this is good. Mm, I I do not like the wavy line. Maybe we can we can do something about the wavy line. My sin. They call it my sin.
my ass. Yeah, sure, let's call it my sin. Um, basically, I want to get this thing, this, this calculation. I want it to be universal. So when we change it one place, we don't have to change it in both places because we did it for two pl um, pl spaces. We wanted to, well, we did for um, like this. this mm -hmm. um, and then yeah and here we can just go my my sin my sin my ass Sin, definitely a sinful situation. Um, and then here, oh, there we go. My sin. Like this. Yeah. No. What's the problem? It scroll. Oh, double L? How did it did not pick up the double L? Okay. I'm very happy about this. Um, now I want to modify this maybe, so I'm gonna maybe have it cause sign. Yeah, that seems better. Maybe both cosine. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so it starts more of a... Because I, I, I'm also thinking, you know, where the game starts and what kind of situation. <clears throat> so this is going to be kind of like, this is going to be the uh, original start screen. Actually, let's just make it minus. How, how does that look like? And then we're going to continue like this. That seems good. Uh, what if we, uh, I cannot. Nah, that's fine, that's fine, let's do a plus. Okay. Um. Really like this wavy thing, stage select. I can't wait to see it with the bubbles as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I'm not sure if it's maybe, I'm worried as always. Um, oh, by the way, I also wanted to do something later on. Um, Predefined bubble sites. Something that I, I noticed size this um yeah no I, I like it it's i wonder if it's maybe a bit too much for what i'm doing like people maybe appreciate uh, like think that this is maybe like like a whole campaign and it's not really a campaign but maybe we can turn it into a campaign i'm not sure let's see So we can step through levels now. 
Now we want to maybe draw some information about levels. Um, Nope, that's not here. Maybe introduce the game with less halos and then stages progress introduce the second and third not sure if that's the idea hmm. yeah 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 i was definitely thinking about um maybe when you and that's something that would be you would do here maybe you would select kind of like a difficulty here when you say new and then there's going to be like a stage selector kind of like easy middle like easy normal hard or something you know a nightmare <laughs> uh and then like as the less or like the entry level beginner <laughs> maybe you can call it like about different like nap and uh or daydream nap and then uh dream nightmare um, like maybe there's different different phrases we can use there and so like for me we could yeah, it might be a good idea to be like uh when you generate a new level and you can set it like easy and then it's gonna be just like um yeah you have to just complete one one halo just kind of like a more tutorial kind of thing or maybe just two halos and then the normal is with three halos and then there's maybe hard mode with with weird cards that pop up Uh, are the cards random? Yes, they are, but I'm like, I want to save the um, key that I use to generate a level uh, in the history, like basically in the, like here on the level select screen, so you can go back to previous boards and you can replay them. That's something that I noticed when playing a lot of solitaire kind of games. It always felt a bit frustrating when you, um, you've been dealt a board and you fail at solving the board and when you then press restart you will get a new board and that felt i feel always a bit unsatisfying basically because it feels like you're um clicking through the random number generator until it generates a board that you're that you can solve um, and because the boards are randomized it feels like sometimes your boards are easier than others right so like being able to say like, I want to replace this one specific one again. I think I made a mistake and I think I know what the mistake is and I want to fix that mistake. Uh, I think that, that that's something that I was missing in the solitaire games I tried. Yeah, also sharing with each other, that's right. So also I want to obviously add an opportunity to type in the key that you that you generated and then and then replay it. There's a bit of an issue here in that is some levels might not end up being solvable. And we have to figure out how to do. It. Yeah, exactly. Can you solve three, four, two, three, four? Yeah. So so maybe that will be also like the sol solution for this. You know, you go on the and, and 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 again, that's one of those things. Like it might actually also create a situation where people will talk more about the game. And that's how you create like the kind of like it will create more engagement online for the game because people will talk about the different dreams that they that they generated. Um, I have to think about how to do with the, how to solve the key thing because I don't like that the key that the, that the dreams have numbers. I, that doesn't feel very dreamlike to have a number associated with a dream. It would be nice if there was some kind of more uh, organic way of, of generating the key that, that feels more dreamlike but it's still shareable using text and uh, technically uh, like maybe letters would be good 
I think though you need to do a minimum of checks, like three rings. Can yeah, I, I do that. The way I I generate the deck. Uh, what is this? Why is there? Okay, never mind. Uh, the way I generate a. Okay, there's a little thing that was annoying me. Um, You can always use the card shape ends as characters like a code. Yeah, but the, um, when I do that, then people might not be able to like quickly uh, share it online. You know, you would have to make a screenshot of it. So maybe just like um, like um, uh, letters might be nice. Yeah, forty six thousand. Wow. There's already more uh, options than we have characters in uh, numbers in PQ8, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's, I still haven't decided it. I, we're going to figure this out later. Ah, the good old C print. I'm getting so much mileage out of C print. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to this. It might be worthwhile putting this in a, in a variable as well, right? one and plus two. Like this? Oh, no, no, no. See, you can um, you can see how many um, um, how many rings you've created in each level. Yeah, I w that, that will just, I just draw the score value on there and then we can figure out later what that means exactly.
Uh, they're gonna be um, procedurally predetermined. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I, I, I have no idea. There, there will be a key. Each level will be generated from the key, but I'm not sure if everybody will use them. They will be generating the same keys. That would be fun. Like, look, have like a preset sequence of keys that we maybe <clears throat> test if they are actually playable um, or if we are going to. Uh, everybody will have their own keys. I think I, I, I lean into everybody having their own, their own keys. Okay, something like this. It would be good to have a sort of indicator what we selected, I think. Might be worthwhile. Is there a way in Solitaire to solve the same stage in different step counts? I'm not, yeah, 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 you can, definitely. You can just do movements that do nothing. Yeah. So that could be also another way of uh, keeping track of the score, you know, like if you did it in, in less movements. Note beat, I haven't heard about that. Left cell, cell left, left cell. It's five, um, two, five, four. The whole color thing is something we have to figure out in a second. I don't know how to do the colors right now. Not for the stream. Ah! Oh. Yeah, 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 I heard, heard about that, yeah. It's kind of like the uh, music generator, right? Uh, 
I'm not sure just yet. By the way, why why do we have red? You see how some sometimes we get red oh, oh, over there? Why? I don't quite understand. In the uh, profiler, I mean. What am I doing? Know what I'm saying? It's weird. Anyway, um, we have to figure out how to do this level select with a mouse. Do we just click or how does that go? Yeah, we have to, I, I'm not sure how to do that. That's something that we're gonna do later. Mouse level select. You already do clicking on things in a menu with a mouse. I assume I need to select levels with a click as well using that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you just will probably click here and then it will move to the next one. I assume, yeah. Just like a lot of clicking, so I wonder like if we should do like an edge scroll here, like if you move here the mouse close to the edge, then it will. But the edge scroll with PQH is a bit difficult because your mouse doesn't actually stop at the edge. In full screen it makes sense, you just move the mouse to the edge and the mouse cannot go past the edge, so it's kind of like a very easy way to get through it. Yeah, you can always bring in a scroll. I, yeah, probably should also make sure. Hmm. But we're not using the scroll, we're in the main menu, so uh, scroll is a bit, a bit difficult. I'm gonna put it in there. Oh, not the juice, my future problems. <clears throat> okay, let's get some of the information out, um, exposed to the player uh, from the history. Tap number, number zero. Oh, by the way, I want to see how uh, where my wife and daughter are at right now. That's the beauty of putting a Apple thing on the like the not Apple the <coughs> uh, the iTech. I put an iTech on my on our bike so it doesn't get stolen, but it also allows me to track <laughs> where they are. <laughs> They are aware of it. It's not a creepy thing. <laughs> I guess at least my wife is aware of it. Little one generally thinks that we have magic powers. Um, yeah, level info. What level info do we have? We have the key and we have the attempts. Yeah, okay. So that's what that's the th two things I want to maybe put there. Uh,
um, h dot key. Uh, and attempts. Let's, let's call it tries. Price is nil? Oh, oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Just spent, spent five minutes trying to fix not having audio from the stream until I realized that you muted into Firefox. <laughs> I've been there myself. Crisis still? What? Ah. <laughs> okay. Almost, almost correct. Um. The information design here, it's kind of bad. Um, it would be probably better if you do like this. Um, well, definitely feels like I should have the button right underneath. If you should shorten your lines because of the limited screen space, uh, do you shorten the lines of the, because of the limited uh, screen space? I like to have all tools in one, but sometimes I think I would prefer an external editor for code. Yeah, uh, a lot of people do. I just like working, I just got used to this so much. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to align the text but also centering the text. Yeah, so I that's something that's that's good. It has a future me problem. Uh, let's put it on the list. But yeah, we're working on it. It's, it's, it's not yet. Um, yeah, I think the button should go directly underneath. Yeah. C-print, I don't know if it's C-print copes, but probably not. Uh, 
yeah, but it's, I mean, something that we just wrote. So it's probably, it ignores the, the slash ends or it treats it as like characters. Um, so how are we going to do? We want to have buttons that people click on. Yeah, let's, re, let's, let's recreate the buttons basically. Uh, local old cell equals left cell. If old cell is not equals left cell left cell then but but equals uh, how do I how do I create my buttons? Where is my button? Where is my button? Where the button is in Ali? Where is the button? What a nerd this guy! Update. It should be an update. Oh, no, no, it's actually in the start function. Yeah, that, that's where it is. Uh, here, see? Bots. So X and Y probably doesn't really matter. Uh, we definitely want to have a play button. And then we, maybe we're gonna add some more buttons if we want to like select the difficulty or something. Okay, we're not drawing any buttons, so let's draw the buttons. And then we're gonna go uh, butts. 1.x equals my x uh, y equals my s let's not print the text for now I don't want this text for now <clears throat> Uh, minus um, W divided by 2, like this. It's not closed. Did I forget to close something? What? But what is closed? Tab I, 1 is not closed? I, this is my least favorite bug to fix. Literally, it's like, okay.
Yeah, the button only appears after I press the button. That's, that's kind of annoying. Still a bit... Oh, 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 wait. All right, uh, suddenly we have to close the stream. Um, they have returned. So I will have to deal with them and uh, I will be back this evening and we're gonna fix this whole thing up. All right, see you next time, right, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot to put up the thing. <laughs> you just saw me just brown. <laughs> Things are a bit complicated today. I'm sorry. I hope, um, I hope all you guys are doing well. This is um, day 11 evening stream today. And there's been some developments. I've received um, some new material from two people and this will actually maybe impact this evening stream. Otherwise, we're gonna go straight back into UI stuff. Uh, one thing I received is the new sound. So I've been working with Gruber Music and he is making the sound for, um, for this game, or at least the music. And I did receive uh, an, uh, a second. I think he made one revision and is now the third revision. So, uh, the second revision. <laughs> so this third version. Uh, and I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna uh, turn off the music real quick. Let's listen to this. It is more positive, definitely. Good evening, Wailal. Why, 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 how are you doing? It, is, it sounds more positive. It's difficult to make um, atmosphere, like the ambient music in, in Pico 8. It's just like not made for it. Um, there's a, one piece that I really like, uh, which is this piece, which is kind of like the ending. I think this is really nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's nice. That's just nice. I'm not sure if I like the during the game music, um, but I I think it's a lot better than the previous versions. I like I'm willing to to like if this was the final version, I wouldn't be crying. <laughs> I wouldn't have been crying in the previous ones, but you know what I'm saying. I, like, I'm, yeah, I'm good with that. Um, so I'm, I'm, it's okay. Let's put that in, in the game um, and let's get the volume levels uh, correct because that's something that I'm, um, I'm not sure about. He said that he wasn't actually adjusting the volume levels for now. He just wants to hit the, the tone right. Uh, but something we can do is... These are different instruments, you know? And we can set the, I think we can set the, see? We can set the volume of, of these, I think, manually. So we can try to ad adjust the volume ourselves, but not something necessary I will do today. For today, I just want to copy this music over. And you know what this means, you know what this means. We're gonna do, Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Uh, uh, uh. We have to edit some text files. I swear, like editing text files is such an important part of game development. It's kind of crazy. Um, no, I don't want to do this. I want to do it like this. Folder. Folder. 
Ik eet kaartussen. Uh, shapes. So we're gonna do a copy of shapes. We're gonna op open shapes in here and we're gonna open this in here and we have to copy the music out. Okay, so well the music is we can just like copy out. We don't we know that the music is gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be this. Wow, the music didn't change, interesting. And then we are going to Yeah, I wanna select this. So these are the SFX and we're gonna copy six 36 lines. Thirty thirty-six here. Uh oh, that's not that's the, didn't do what I wanted to do. Thirty-six here. Oh no, it didn't copy. Copy. Paste. Okay. I think this worked now. Let's try it. Yes. Oh. Yeah, this, I, I kind of, I think it works. Smelly fish sticks 07. I think it kind of works. Just we have to maybe adjust the, the volume levels, but otherwise, yeah. Again, I feel like I'm dropping frames, I swear. Oh well. Now it's 60 or 60. Yeah, I think the upper line is means how many frames per second we do, we're doing. Oh, it's good. I you see because there was a bit choppy here and I think we dropped the frame there. Uh, I do want to edit this a little bit. I think it's not quite okay. I think this is the lowest it gets. So, okay, let me do a P, let me do a, an F6, save to desktop. Actually, also, I want to do while I'm here. Uh, let me also play the, the music again. Still game chops. Oh, I, I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I would love to play the music from um, Shatter, but I'm not, I'm, sh I'm not sure if it's gonna maybe get flagged, and, and I wouldn't like that. So I'm looking currently for the text that drew the data. Here. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So let me just print this somewhere. And because I have an idea of maybe of how I can solve the layout issues that we are currently having. Let's just put like 80 and it's gonna be 86. What? Oh, I, hate, I hate when I'm editing something and something else breaks. Oh. There's an end here, huh? What does that end do? The melody now fits a lot better than previous version. Somehow sounded a bit eerie to me. Yeah, yeah, that's what that was my feedback. It was a bit just a bit depressive. I think I think the the tone is really good now. Um, so I want to do an F6 of this. F6, and I'm going to F6 of this. Uh, 
and we're gonna figure out uh, the layout of the buttons. Uh, that's something, that's something I wanna maybe figure out in in um, Sprite. Okay, uh, yeah, levels, yeah. I mean, we don't have levels, but we do, are working on a level uh, uh, UI. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. please sure, reload. Um, uh, okay, I, I also wanted to show you something else. Um, because Augustine, I asked Augustine, you know, people want to maybe open me, open the eyes of the girl, and I don't know how that, like, I, I could do it, but I, it, I would feel a bit more comfortable if you show me how you would do it. Because I saw some of your style, I would copy the style, but it would be a lot, no, appropriate if it just like show me how you would draw the girl with open eyes, you know, what what's your style is, like give me some guidance, you know. And he did that. Is it amazing? Is it an amazing? Oh. There's a couple of really cool, this is a really cool face. Yeah. This also kind of nice, that, that sounds like, like looks like, like he, she just woke me up. Although I do, do like the calm and relaxed face here. And this is just like a happy face, that's also nice. Uh, I also love uh, Augustine dedication to this concept that this is a, just a sketch, because clearly this is something that he drew digitally, like, <laughs> It's definitely digitally, but you put it on the background of the Moleskine notebook, so it looks kind of like a no sketch, but it's not. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, super adorable. I love it. Also, kind of like the shading on the hair makes more sense to me now because it seems like like her her forehead is kind of like illuminated, and that kind of like her hair is just dark. And the forehead is illuminated, so kind of like you get, uh, like the hair is is all blown, like the color is blown out on on her forehead, and that's what, how you get the shading. That's something I misunderstood. Um, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Because like right now, the way I did it, I did it is kind of like her hair is kind of blonde in general. And like just this part here is kind of a bit darker because it's like covered by the streaks of hair on the outside. But you know what? Different interpretations of the same artwork. Yeah. Oh, I have some oh, I have such great ideas now. But first of all, I'm getting hot in this. I'm going to take this one out. Uh, not out, off. Much better. Yeah, so uh, next step is uh, I want to do some layout work. I do want to, I do want to do some layout work. Let's launch um, the photoshops. And you know nothing big. I just want to like like move things around a little bit just like feel out what the layout should look like. Do, do, do. There's a lot on my screen right now, but I'm looking for these specifically. These were the two screenshots that I had. I'm trying to figure out how to do things here. I wonder, do I have the Pico 8 font installed? I should. Oh, I don't. Ah, oh, how awful. Incredible. This is just incredible. Okay, so, oh yeah, yeah the size is not quite correct because it's upscaled. Uh, yes, what do you want? Ah, okay. Uh, 
uh, nearest neighbor, that's correct. Image size, 128. Nearest neighbor, good. Right, some layouts. So what I thought might be fun is to kind of like do something like this. Oops. Something like this, you know? You can just do it right here. Uh, and then maybe some spacing the lines it feels like more spacing which would feel a bit more airy then I'm thinking um, actually when we're doing this how about we we take this as a background color immediately okay that would will and then I'm gonna go ahead and put like oh that's not what I wanted Ugh. and then I could put like the play button down here you know so it's it feels more like and then i have like plenty of space to do things that's what i what i thought here a little bit the only thing i, I want to make sure is that this actually this layout also works here when the button is so low so maybe i guess this this should be a bit lower right so maybe something like this Something like this, right? Maybe the color is not quite right. And then here, let's, let's, we, let, we're gonna just assume that this button is, is the correct height. So again, the play button is down here. And then maybe... Okay, let me try this. Right. That would make sense. And then, you know, I would have maybe... way to change the, the key you know and then um, not to try but here would be like a difficulty you know and so we can change the difficulty maybe just like a left and right right arrow or something like this you know or maybe they would be here you know or here yeah on, on both sides maybe click 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 so you can go left and right Not sure how I would edit the. I would probably wouldn't edit the key for now. Uh, I would because that's, that's a UI debacle, 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 difficult. But I would definitely want to have a UI here that, uh, that lets, lets me select the difficulty because I definitely probably want to have difficulty uh, selection here. Something like this. We're gonna save these. Um, a leather UI. No. 
why do I still have to like navigate to the same? I don't understand. Like why? Why would? It, what would it do this to me? Why do I have to navigate to the same folder twice? And then the stupid. Oh, people talked. Hey, Weeble. Is this a random seat level and progress screen looks cool? Yep, that's kind of like what we're doing. Uh, it's not really a level select screen as much as a kind of a history. And then you can um, create, n generate new levels here, basically. So it kind of is a level select screen in that regard. Okay, so let's try, let's see how uh, how far we can get. So generally the idea is because right now I had the do we, do we see something if I go somewhere? Yeah, we see the play button, but I don't like how the play button is directly where the level is. So it, like put the play button always at the same place in the on the layout. I think makes makes more sense. So it's kind of like um, the data and kind of like the, the level are kind of like separate from each other. And we always want to have a play button. So that's 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 also something that's that's cool. Um, right, so let me see. Open uh, a, a save right. Um, because I want to have an ASP right here as a reference. Uh, so I can find out what. Uh, skip. It asked me if I wanted to uh, interpret this as an animation. I'm sorry that I'm playing the same music, but you have to understand. Remember when I did My Chance Sweet Buns? Remember? Well, I was playing some music that was not copyrighted, like or like that was not free to, to use as stream music. And I didn't get the copyright strike. But like even today, I'm still getting like notification, like spam, where it's like, oh, we found some copyrighted music in your stream. And now all the revenue will go to the person who, who made the music from that video. And, and it's like, I mean, I don't mind about the revenue too, so much, but the spam is just so horrible and there's no way to turn it off. So just because of that, just because this, this stupid message spam and the persistence of it is so annoying that I, I really want to just pick music that hopefully will never go through that process. Right, so it turns out I, I picked 107 as, as the position of the butt. I did the cover and was so close I could bot it right away. <laughs> great, great. Yeah, that's, that's, it's crazy how broken YouTube is in this regard. Also like, like the crazy focus on music and what about the other things that can get copyrighted? Like what about images? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's weird. It's weird how what, what kind of copyright system we have. It, not that I, I'm obviously I'm a creator myself, so I would, uh, I don't mind uh, having uh, a reasonable approach to I think it's better like this. I think it's better if the button stays with the, with the selection because it feels more selected then. If the button's always in the same spot, um, it kind of feels odd. Um, yeah, I don't know. Copyright needs, needs an overhaul and there's just like, I don't see it, it happening because the people who are in power have no interest in giving up that power. As always, it's always all of the tools uh, created to protect artists will eventually be used to protect the people who benefit from artists, and not, not the artists themselves. So today, uh, the comic that I'm actually interested in that was just released, but I'm not sure if it's my, at my comic book store. I didn't go. 
the Gwen Gwen Gwenverse comic. Did we create NFT thing with games that get, ever get sorted out? Uh, it kind of just went away. Um, there was a really good article in, I forgot exactly where, somebody would interviewed me. <sighs> Does anybody ever still do games of NFTs? It's kind of like everything goes out. It was like kind of like what, last hurrah, I felt. Like, like now it's all about bailouts in, in the crypto sphere, I feel. <laughs> no! <laughs> The fake JPEGs I bought for millions of dollars. They're worthless now? Please give me a bailout. Who could have thought? Who could have thought? Nobody. Nobody told me. <laughs> that all of this is useless. So I'm not doing print now. Let me figure out a good position for this. It's gonna be like... Uh, 34. We d'accord 44. Oh wait, 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 wait. All right. So, five. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Ninety. Yeah, something that's very important to this to create those mock ups whenever you, you do like a uh, screen design because I think like this really helps um, layouting all this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. I kind of just do YouTube stuff on the side, and I haven't invested in it a lot, so it, so it's just really so just there really isn't a better place. But uh, I'm still mad about GameStop. It's kind of extensional, but I really wish there was another retailer near me. Probably I would just order online or something. Big truck. Yeah, I don't know. If, I mean, in, here in Germany, GameStop is not a big deal. I think they do have a GameStop here in Bonn. I would probably never go there. Also, GameStop seems to me like a typical, you know, like a um, investment thing. You know, big company, just there to make money. They will do anything that that they they, they don't seem to follow an uh, ethics, you know, like any kind of ethos, you know. It's like, oh, we are we are stand in for X, you know. It's just like they will do anything, and I wouldn't be surprised for them to do highly immoral things to get money. Okay, so this looks good. Um, something I want to sort out are the colors. That's something that I don't know, don't quite know how to solve. Um, the colors could indicate something, and, and maybe that should be should be the approach here. But for now, I will just use other colors. I mean, I could use just the dark of the button for the text down there. Let's, let's see how that, or maybe just like gray. But uh, that doesn't solve the other problems. We still need the colors for the other things. Let's see how, how it looks like when I, when I turn it dark. Oops. No, it was zero. Zero was the dark green. Hmm. 
Yeah, that seems cool. This is cool. Yeah, for sure. It's them and tiny shops that never have anything in my area. Yeah. yeah. Retail, I'm, what, what can you do? Okay, so this looks good. This feels, this feels cool. And then here I could add UI that is all about, you know, um, 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 inputting a custom key and changing the difficulty. Oh yeah, here also something that uh, I, um, that's something that we maybe do later. But it would be nice if here was also maybe the second button where you can say like delete or maybe right next to it like delete. Um, because sometimes you might want, might have stuff in your uh, history that cannot be beaten and then maybe you want to remove them so you have like a perfect history. That might be kind of like the overall goal to just like play, to have like a perfect sequence of dreams so to speak. Um, and, and have like, you know, I don't know, 10 dreams completed or something. Uh, okay, but still, I want to I want to cycle through different colors, so that's what I want to fix now. I, I was in, in the process of figuring it out, but then I got interrupted, harshly interrupted, if I may, may say so. Uh, by my own thinking. <laughs> uh, no. Ah, there we go, colors. Let's define them on top as well. Man, we are just burning through those tokens, huh? But it doesn't matter. It's really like, if, if you pick a game with the right scope for PQ8, like PQ8 is so relaxing. <laughs> because usually like, oh, tokens, tokens, you know, when it's too, too, too big. But when it's the right scope, you just never care about the tokens. It's like, whoa, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very different experience for me, I can, can tell you. I always like push and then now it's like whatever. I'm not even halfway there and we're just like doing UI stuff. Uh, right, so I want to set the colors to some values and, and we're just going to cycle through the colors. Yeah, it's weird. My current thing is like, ah, this code is messy, but I'm chilling. And then on my other pro platform project, I need to uh, scourge up all the tokens I can. Yeah, it just like shows you like the, the um, the extra effort required to uh, tweak the tokens is a penalty that you pay for always scoping. Um, I think.
Maybe this thing should be zero. And the text underneath should be C. Okay. Oh, but I'm doing something wrong. Any, uh, do not have any collision detection yet. Hmm. I do not like the color of the thing. I wonder if it was white, but of course it cannot be white, but... Just do it like this, if that's better. Yeah, that's that's way better. Just a thought that pooped into my mind. I <laughs> popped into my mind. Would it uh, would it look nice if the keys tries text faded in from white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to maybe do some fading ins um, because I kind of like it would kind of fit 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 nicely, I think. Mm, but um, yeah, that's that's something I want to maybe do later. I think like doing like a, because we're gonna do like a whole fading pass. We're probably gonna do like transition between screens, and then um, yeah, we're gonna just program some fading functions, and that will also maybe apply to this. Also, I want to. The text, uh, the shape of mind text, maybe to come 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 in sideways or at least fade in. Also, I had an idea of, of something over her head. Maybe maybe I should um, uh, put this down. Yeah, screen transition text fading. Glow in main screen. Um, uh, fuzzy bubbles. Yeah, these are like because like I can spend ages on this, right? Like these are the things I can just like. There is no end to this. It just will look better and better. Um, but it's kind of fine, okay? Now, like I'm not unhappy with the way this looks now. Um. And I just want to get the, the functionality down. And if the functionality is down and we have some time left, then we can invest all of the time that's left in, in those little details. And we can then prioritize and see you know, what gives us the best bank for our buck. I need this restraint. <laughs> No, I don't have the restraint either. I, you, you, could, you saw how how much I ta time I spent on the halo, but the halo felt like such a such a key feature. Uh, okay, so level info. We do have some of the level info now. Uh, level start button. We do have that one. Level colors. We have figured out the level colors. Um, bubbles and background waves. We don't have that. Um, Something maybe I want to do is the, to draw the new level maybe differently when, when I'm not selecting it, so it looks like I'm growing something. That'd be interesting. Uh, let's try that real quick. That's, that won't take long.
Yeah, that, that, that feels nice. That now, now this feels kind of like a button. Uh, hello, my imagery. Maybe even smaller? Oh man, I really want to use the keyboard to be able to go here. Yeah, that, that, that feels vestigial, more of vestigial. Squid light. How are you doing? All right, by the way, I did enjoy that a thread in the Discord where it's like the correct speed and what by which you scroll things is three. <laughs> Just three. Everything is moving. That seems like a could be a cool game jam challenge. Like everything has to move at the speed of three. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's actually really funny because then if you you might want to you might get two two different speeds out of it if you if if you change the frame rate. <laughs> that's actually that would be a funny challenge. Hey, not Maximus. Everything has to move at the speed of three. Okay, so this looks good. Um, let me do the key. The, so now we want to have keyboard interaction in the main screen and non-keyboard interaction in the in uh, <laughs> FPS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the game just gets more choppy when things speed up. It's, this would be so funny. <laughs> I shouldn't have attended morning stream was supposed to be working. What? I think my mouse scroll speed is set to three. Oh my God. We're getting there. The, everything is moving at speed game jam. All, um, actually, this, let, let's, let's keep that in mind. Okay, let's just keep it in mind. I kind of like that idea. It's so stupid. I will have to do some, some tests if it's if it's actually viable to do something with that. I mean, you could do floppy bird, right? Kind of like a... <laughs> Everything is just... <laughs> DPI 3, yeah. Oh, uh, man. Oh, uh, there's... Oh, it just, it just occurred to me. There's a different way of ch changing the speed. You change the resolution. <laughs> more pixelated when, when you want to go faster and then high resolution when, it go, when you want to get, go slower. That's, that's how it works, right? <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, restrictions, right? Okay, now uh, I want to do that later. I want to deal with this next. So this is uh, bubbles and background wavies is kind of like um, uh, menu article effects. Oh, um, also of course, play button. That'd be a fun thing. Uh, you have to stop moving to see your surroundings. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right, right, that's right. Can simulate. <laughs> uh, right, so um, let us do the keyboard button interaction next. Um, do, 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 do. Cell but equals one. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do. Ah si, mais oui. If BTNP uh, up, then mouse mode is equals false. Else if BTNP down, then mouse mode equals false. Else if BT. Oh, by the way, I changed my mind. I think I changed my mind. I think I will keep the X as a confirm button. I'm sorry for being um, changing it, but um, I there is a, a thread on Next Level right now where people are discussing, you know, what the default uh, layout is in on the on the keypad, and I realized that is actually not consistent. So if it's not consistent, then I'm just gonna use the one that is actually better. If you're describing, oh okay. <clears throat> if you are describing um, the game on the manual, because X is like the X on the keyboard, so that that's sounds better to me. But good that we thought about it. Um, I also want to say some link to Smart Everyday's Chicken Gyro Gimbal. I think it's Gimbal? Is it Gimbal? Gyro Gimbal? Oh, whatever. Um, now, this is not going to be that complicated, but just in case. This might be, by the way, this might be also something that we Standardize, but okay. Cell but uh, minus equal one. Cell but plus equal one. And then end. Okay, that's okay. And then if uh, uh, cell but plus 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 uh, no equals mid. One cell bot two. I know it's kind of overkill for what we're doing right now. Um, I could just set cell bot to one here and two to here, but maybe there's gonna be more menu items later on. Um, I had some ideas of what I could, can. I had some vague ideas, like things I could put in main main. So I'm just gonna keep it like this, and we can also copy this to maybe other uh, menus that we're gonna have in the future. Uh, but I will definitely mark it with a star as this is something that we can uh, optimize. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to draw. One to butts, number of butts. Do draw but um, butts. I if I equals cell but then and then. Uh, I dot x but i dot y and we're gonna figure out you know, the exact position of q. What? Oh, I'm so happy that this, this button works so so well now. What? Ah.
Hmm. I mean, it kind of works. I, I do have a cursor there over there. You see that? It's just in the completely wrong spot. Where, why is it over there? Also, by, let's do it cur dx. I think that might be might be correct. The, the solution. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Dee 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 dee. Difficult where to put it exactly. Is it too far? Because you don't quite can read the L, you know. You kind of have to have to guess at this tutorial, but yeah, I mean the L is maybe not that important. <clears throat> It's a rounding error. Maybe we could actually, yeah, maybe we can solve it by 6.5, but now that, oh, it actually does solve that problem. Okay, that's good. That's maybe better. Uh, is it over or hover? Hover. Nope, so it doesn't work. Uh, why though? Like this, so we can, we can make like immediately be a uh, local local b equals bots. <clears throat> a lot of code for just like two buttons. <laughs> well, that's how it works. Um, I 
got some messages. <laughs> Yaro is in a in a in a stream and has joined me. Yaro is my friend of mine. We're playing board games together. He has a small channel. And he would love to do that uh, himself one time during live interaction, but it's difficult as a small channel. I agree. Yeah, streaming to like an audience of zero is not really that great. Does he do Pico 8? No, he does not. He's just a board gamer. I mean, he doesn't make board games. He plays board games. And he, oh, I mean, he has a job. <laughs> he has a day job, but uh, not as in games. Although sometimes he does work for Czech, um, the Czech board game, the big Czech board game publisher. Oh. Okay, so let us uh, do so we can confirm things. Ah, again, <laughs> this again, this thing where ah now, hmm. See, I don't know. we need again this could be like universal code for buttons but uh, kind of like every UI looks a little bit different so I'm not sure let's let me write a couple of those UIs and then maybe we're gonna see some some similarities that we can exploit like with the mouse it's easier because there's always like, you have a cursor and you point at things and just have to place the pink um, things somewhere but yeah I'm glad, I'm glad that we did this. This is this is very useful, this is very productive. Yeah, but no, no, look at this, this is good. There's something that is odd, we don't get the play button at the beginning, so let me, let me put one down. Why don't we get the play button is something I'm, I'm wondering. Is it because we somewhere created? Yeah, yeah, here. So we always regenerate those buttons, but we could just like do it. We could always have a button. Because we always have the play button. There's never a situation where we don't have the play button, right? So we can just do it in... <laughs> Let me respond to this in a second. Talking of board games makes you wonder if you could make a physical real world version of your game, a spinning halo that you can insert physical cards into. Uh, not as much uh, much fun though, that's <laughs> you don't have to obey. <laughs> 
first of all, it's kind of like a tried and antecedent tradition to take take some of my board games and uh, my my Pico 8 games and come up with um, board game versions of it. Um, I think somebody actually 3D printed some tokens for uh, high stakes, which I thought was amazing. <laughs> And high, high stakes is something I did prototype early on uh, physically, but uh, it doesn't work so great, I think, in real life because you have to have like a person who looks under the cards and then does the hints for you. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of... But it was, it's probably the one that you can play the best in physically. I did a, phys a paper prototype for uh, My Chance Sweet Buns. Um, like using like tokens, like not not obviously not real pastries. <laughs> Just to see you know how the how the rules work. So yeah, I guess it started out as a as a physical prototype. With this one, I also have a, have a physical. Wait, do I have it here? Oh, it's a bit difficult. Right, you can see. I've created a tiny little. Can you, can you see this? No. I don't see it. Uh, it wants to focus on my face. I don't know if it is okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Focus on this. Focus on this, you stupid camera. Oh, there we go. You see, there's like little cards. Uh, oh, I want to go closer here. Maybe it focuses on my face here. And then I can put it up here. See? Ah, oh, perfect. See, little. <laughs> It always was spoken like this. See these little cards? Uh, so I created like little cards that you can play the game with, and they have different colors and like the different connectors. And so I, I played uh, solitaire with those cards, and I just like I did it to kind of like find out what is a um, good number of suits and a good number of uh, symbols. And it gave me kind of like a rough idea. But then I did a prototype, um, digital prototype as well, to let me experiment more rapidly. Because every time I wanted to change the number of shapes, I would have to create a new deck of cards, and it just took a while. Um, but yeah, it was a good start. And also, like if just doing it on, on paper, just you figure out certain things very, very quickly. Uh, shows you can go from. <laughs> go physical to virtual world and also back the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like both ways of doing prototypes have advantages. Uh, paper is kind of like nice because you just like, it's so quick. Um, like you can make up rules on the fly and that, and you can just follow the rules and see if they play out most, or mo quite often. In, 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 I think it makes sense to go to digital once you have some rules already laid down and you want to maybe, you know, um, do changes that require time on, on physical. I guess, yeah, there's like strengths and weaknesses in both. Yeah, because here, for example, creating new deck was very, very cumbersome. But in digital, creating new deck is very, very easy. But creating new rules in digital is difficult, especially if it's like UI is involved. But creating new rules in, in physical, like the same deck, is very easy. So, like whenever you have to change, I guess, to change the material is difficult in physical. But whenever you have to change the rules, it's easy in physical. Okay, so this was good. <clears throat> um, so now I want to have. Um, well, also, yeah, a mouse, keyboard select, but I kind of also <clears throat> want to have a, key, a keyboard level select. So let's finish up the keyboard stuff in level select. And then we can think about, about the mouse. See, the way we draw the butts is kind of the same. So how about we call it, we call it draw butts.
Then we can reuse this here. It's kind of like to draw butts and that calls draw butt. It's kind of like broken. But yeah, see? Nah, we have to deal with that, but okay, that's good. Uh, why did the mouse go there? That's kind of funny. I guess we triggered <clears throat> because we have this here, right? Now let's update level. Yeah, this one. To be fair, We're not selecting a lot of different butts right now. There might be butts later. Hey, it's many fish sticks. So let's just get this one out because that's definitely something that we need. Update level, yeah. this okay that's good <clears throat> that's good um something i realized oh i actually in, in the in the What are you into? Well, I'm into some unknown but play. <laughs> Family friendly show. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is too bad. This is too bad. <laughs> you would have heard about it. I'm neither into this nor into that. I'm into the into something that's uh, into a third secret thing. <laughs> no. Uh. Uh, we need to have the transitions, but we, you know, we can start the game already. <sighs> that seems, that uh, feels nice and snappy. I, I like it. Oh, by the way, um, also another to-do list I want to do is... Um, sound volume. And then... Um, um, I'm not muted, but uh, damn, damn pen menu sound. No, music, music, S uh, music volume. <laughs> Finishing level. Finishing level music. Okay, that's good. time do we have I don't I want to maybe stream for another half an hour and we're not gonna stay up for too long but I would love to have finished the mouse interaction maybe that's gonna be a good end point if, if the mouse interaction is, is working uh, I do have a play button oh I guess making a play button play yeah, yeah. we already have that <clears throat> Um. 
Uh, and then here at this point is gonna, gonna be history uh, backend interaction. Let's just call it, call it history backend. So it actually, history actually tracks your place because it doesn't right now. Uh, okay, uh, keyboard level select is something that we did. Something we don't have is we cannot really exit the. Gonna um, kind of go, cannot really go out here. So maybe we should have like a cancel button. I'm gonna put it down there here. Um, I mean, it's not that difficult. Come on, what, what, what am I doing? Come on, we go just go to start. We're gonna play that a sound effect that is um, that we reserved for canceling, right? What? <sighs> what? Oh, I think I screw up my sound effects. Oh yeah, they're wrong. The sound effects are wrong. Funny, huh? That's why I haven't heard, haven't heard about thick. Okay. Oh man, let's save this folder. Yeah, yeah, that was that was. Oh man, oof. <clears throat> Again, um, we make a copy of this because we're about to. It's easy to screw something up, and of course now I didn't realize this, so now it's a bit. Uh, now it's a bit late for that. Hopefully we can uh, save it somehow. But see, that's, they're still there. Is it just number of sound of, it's just like we, we left, left out some zeros in between there? Yeah, it's 52, but it should be 64, right? So let's just like <clears throat> 52, so we need uh, 12 more. think. Which sound effect did we... Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe we should actually do a... Because we have like this small sound effect, but maybe actually the 62 sound effect would be nice. 61. Let's try 61. And then this is going to be 63. Yeah, I think this 61 is actually nice. Maybe we have to rethink those sound effects though at some point. And it would be nice if we have SFX 60 when we move the button around. And then maybe here as well. Where do we actually use SFX60?
That's, that's, it feels nice. Okay. Um, So we're going to do a do mouse buds here and we are going to put it before we do the interaction with the buttons. We definitely can play, click on play now. So that already works automatically because we have like the system set up. That's good. So now the question is like clicking on clicking on some other things should do, should should select um, things and we can kind of cheat here I think <clears throat> let's see um, all right so what I want to do here is maybe. We're I want this to return whether we actually return this over. Um, <clears throat> if we did a collision detection somewhere here, then I want to it's over. Um, I want this function to return true when we did some kind of interaction with a button, um, because then that means things are going to be happening. <clears throat> Shalom, Joelne. Uh, so we're going to go if do most buttons equals false. And then I'm thinking uh, we're gonna take the mouse position. So we're gonna go um, mouse x equals, we divide it by the spacing and what we, okay. Thank you for the hard work you do. Loved your ProClex series. Oh, I'm glad to hear, I'm glad to hear. Thank you for watching. Um, Let me see. Uh, spacing was 36. So we're gonna do something like this. Mouse X uh, plus scroll, uh, H scroll, divided by 36. And that's gonna be, I better catch a scream and choose myself. Yeah, it's nice and that's nice. I'm really enjoying be, to be able to finally stream a little bit and get that live audience interaction that you that wasn't really possible in the last three years. Okay, um, yeah, and this should get us. Local left mouse. Let's call it just left mouse equals. You know what? No, no, no. Let's, let's do it like this. Debug uh, one equals and and there's, I just want to see what what comes out. That's all sorts of wrong. Mm, yeah. Do, 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 do. 
and then we can do the backspace for to get a uh, see this is level number one this is number number two and so forth we just have to do like a minus plus eight scroll minus um, Kia Aura stream, are you, are you crushing it, Chrissy? I'm crushing it, bro. Aura crushing it. <laughs> um, yeah, that seems good. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Um, I like chilling when I catch them. Uh, the morning ones are hard to do, but it's it's a nice super nice time, super crushing. <laughs> Definitely crushing time. I have to say. Working in the morning is, uh, well, it's not really the morning, it's like um, noon, but still, it's, it's kind of a weird time for me to, be do, to do work. Usually I like to work in the afternoon and evening, but you know, things change. Okay, so then we're gonna go... Uh, local i equals, we're gonna do, do something like this, and then we're gonna go if... If i is, uh, oh yeah, and we, oh, hmm, I forgot, we also have to do, I think, a, do we have to do a plus, plus one? Debug one equals i. Let me just quickly check this. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to do a plus one. One plus. So we're gonna go if i is greater than zero and smaller than Oh no, we're just gonna do gonna do this, right? Like this. How long have you been making games for? Um, since I was around 10 years old. So that should be around 30 years. Oh! <laughs> I didn't click. That's a... But I kind of like the, uh, the hover effect. Uh, I now work from home and I'm in the UK, so luckily I can catch the morning stream sometimes. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so good to see someone in action using P8 who really knows their stuff, <laughs> inspiration indeed. Are you the, are the tunes still coming from game shops? Yeah, it's still game shops. Everything is game shops because I, that's kind of like a safe <laughs> channel to be streaming. And I kind of like the tunes. Um, <laughs> it, it's funny to to refer to me as somebody who knows their stuff because I, I never feel like, I, I don't know, feel because I look at somebody who like, who is like, you know, like um, Freds or um, Game Cactus and, and, you know, all the other people and I always feel like my stuff is so pedestrian compared to theirs. Um, I've been doing it for a while, so definitely have a bit of experience on my side, but yeah, I, I've, it's, it's I, I always, I always intimidated by you know 3D stuff and and all the crazy stuff that people are doing it. Yeah, it's all relative. Yeah. Or um, um, who's uh, what's um, I always forget. I, I'm bad with names. I have a bad brain for, for names. Uh, Johan Pates. Um, also incredible work. Uh, okay, so this is good. I need to check if I clicked. That's the thing I want to check now. It's something like but L. Uh, last bit, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's what we want. 
Where was that? This is getting out of hand. There we go. Sometimes I feel like I don't push it as much as others do, but at least I feel I can make what I want now. So that's a good feeling. Um, w when I was starting out, it was really hard because most of the time I couldn't write what I was thinking. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, when you have like the ideas in your head are so big and the thing that you create is so often ends up being um, uh, not quite as impressive in comparison. Yeah, this feels exactly the way I want it to feel. Would nice to would be really nice to have like a hover effect. Coding is so creative. I watched from bedrooms to billions a while back uh, about the early game programmers in the eight and sixteen bit era. Such exciting times were. Oh, from bedrooms to billions. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, there's just one thing I don't like is I don't really get a f maybe the, like the little cursor, but I don't know. It would, would be nice to really have a hover effect here. Lev Hoff. Lev Hoff. Always calculate this. And we always do this. wave and levels moving up and down or wind like click level mini game <laughs> oh where's the yeah I, I probably want to have keep them static i will do have some wind effects in the background uh, i think i just will make it a bit bigger i think that's that might be enough So, so nice. Okay, so now the draw. Like this, like this, 
try that. Just a slightly bigger. That's, that seems good. Uh, there's at least some interaction, right? Uh, but I also want to make sure that I cannot hover over the level I currently selected. So it's like if left of left of equals one and uh, left of is not equals left cell. So I cannot hover over this level, but I cannot hover over the next one. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for today. We have uh, interactions to the level finished. Um, how did long did we stream? Eh, one and a half hours is good. We did a very long stream in the morning. Uh, tomorrow in the morning, there's gonna be another very long stream. So uh, we will be probably finishing up the particle effects for the, uh, for the level selection screen. And we might actually carry them over into the start screen because actually I have been thinking about things. Um, then we can take care of the music and then we can actually take care of going from the game back to the uh, level select stream because that's something that's something that we uh, thought about. And and I think that's all doable tomorrow, which means we will have a you know complete game loop finished tomorrow, hopefully. And then when that's done, Then on, I'm thinking on Thursday, we might do the history back end a little bit and then start tweaking the gameplay. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it's, come, it's coming together. I was like, today I was like in the kitchen cooking a little bit and, and I was like, oh man, like if you, oh, you know, there's not too many days left, you know. Um, and also on a weekend, I, I might not be able to work on it because my wife is gonna be, this has things to do and I have to stay with the little one. Um, but we're kind of approaching the end, so so we might be fine. We might be fine. Okay, I'm gonna save this <clears throat> again. Thank you so much for um, joining me today. Uh, it was a it was good fun. Um, join me tomorrow uh, when we complete complete these things. Good progress so far. Good chat. I'm enjoying this. This is going well. I'm, I'm surprised how well this is going. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.